If you came here looking for Weevil Wobbles and Bobies, I got you covered. <laughs> what? <laughs> How'd you miss the whole target? Uh, we've got April Fools, and then we have this fool, April. I've been letting the devil win lately, y'all. And <laughs> sometimes when I look at it like this, it's ridiculous. I just can't believe I... Nah, I can't post this. What did I just watch? What was that gulping quiver? <laughs> sometimes when I look at it like this... Is this girl eating cake? Using popsicles? Double fisting popsicles as spoons? Or is she using the two as like chopsticks together? Either way, this girl just invented two new ways to eat cake. And I'm here for it. <laughs> Gulps, whimpers. Girl, are you okay? Well. 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 <laughs> oh, that's so sad. She never got to come. POV, you're absolutely terrified in a hot tub as a psychotic strange man starts crying and confessing things. I, t I, I tortured animals. Oh, yeah. Girl, I think it's time to leave. And what's with the breathing? Is this guy eating a carrot cake with popsicle chopsticks or something? <laughs> <laughs> and what's with the other dude? He's like, oh yeah? Killing animals, are you? Oh yeah, that's interesting. I feel like this has to be a prank or something that everyone's in on it. Honestly, if you're in a hot tub and someone person is like, yeah, so I used to murder animals for fun, then I would no longer see myself as a person in a hot tub. I would think this guy's looking at me like I'm in human soup, boiling until the meat's ready to fall off the bone or something weird like that. Every day fighting the urge to model mall on the treadmill. The guy in the back. Is he in on it? Because he's completely on sync. Guy in the back understood the assignment. <laughs> These girls thought they were doing a cute, hot, sexy TikTok where they model walk. Oh, it'll be so funny. And they're being completely outclassed by the guy in the back. Man, how lame is it to be a content creator professionally and have the show stolen by something cuter than you in the background? Pathetic. <laughs> Why does this dog remind me of like a tremors worm? <laughs> well, it's my two teenage daughters. This is my first receipt for birth control for you two. And apparently, there's a difference in what the doctors think sexual activity from a 17-year-old and an 18-year-old. So, here's your birth control. Good luck. I wish you well. All right? I'm confused. Are you serious? Uh, hello? What's up with the older sister? How come the younger girl just needs like a couple of packs of condoms, but the other girl needs like a Hulkbuster armor for her uterus, apparently. Do you guys want to tell dad something <laughs> to <laughs> the dad? The dad is eating this up. Yes, this I'm okay with. And then they brought that out and I was like, this is embarrassing. Dad <laughs> pulled out plan A, B, and C, the whole alphabet. Including the Russian alphabet on top of that, man, with those fake silly letters. Feeling very chill and cool today and also chill. Um, very chill. I just found out my boyfriend is going to get a massage tonight with a gift card I bought for him, you know, a few years ago. Um, it is with a woman named Autumn and it is at 9 tonight p.m. Tonight with Autumn at 9 with Autumn, uh, the woman at 9 p.m. for a massage tonight with Autumn at 9. All right. So I'm getting the sense that her husband is having a massage with Autumn tonight at 9. And she's very, very comfortable about that. Which, you know, good for her, honestly. I feel like if my wife were getting secret nighttime massages at 9 a.m. with a dude, I'd probably be feeling a little bit insecure about that. But, you know, good for her. She's very secure about it. We know because she said she's secure about it. So I'm proud of you, girl. Very proud of you. I'm, I'm seeing some fucking suspicious... 
<laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. He's doing search for bobies and curls shacking their bobies on bows. He got exposed. He's looking for inappropriate kiss bobies. Oh, this kid sounds young. Like seven or eight. Oh, he got caught in the most embarrassing way. Oh. I'm trying to figure out if I want to tell this story, guys. This is a pretty embarrassing one. When I was very, very young and I didn't understand how the internet worked, but I wanted to look at pictures of bobies. The way that I thought the internet worked was I knew that there was some sort of a, that adult had some way to track what was happening on the internet. But what I, the way that I thought that it worked is that if you typed in something inappropriate, then there'd be like an alarm, alert, warning, and some notification would go to my parents and my parents would get the notification that way. So me being a stupid little kid, I thought that the way to look at the bobies without actually typing bobies was to cleverly type something innocent and then search through Google to get to the inappropriate images. Because if I never typed in the, the bad search, then I could get there safely without my parents <laughs> finding out. So I would do all these like really, really, how do I say this? Suggestive searches that weren't, <laughs> that weren't overt, but like close enough that I thought that I could get there. <laughs> so I would do a search for like, beaver so of course i would get all these results for beavers because you know naturally so i'd have to narrow it down and be like shaved beaver or like asian beaver and obviously it didn't work because i was wrong about how the internet works so one day my dad's like so <laughs> how you doing son i noticed you've been doing a lot of searches for asian beavers lately uh that's when i discovered that my stupid 10 year old dirty internet search plan had failed. <laughs> my, my boy typed transformers before handing the phone over, thinking y'all would stop there and not investigate more. Oh, poor kid. Though I don't know what a weeble wobble is. How to eat a cake gracefully. <laughs> the secret is to use popsicle chopsticks. <laughs> POV, you're trying to eat dinner, but you're an art major in an Asian household. After you graduate, you support yourself. Find a rich husband. You're short and small. Can't do anything. You have nothing in comparison to others. Shaking my head, talking about. Hold up. Shut up! I'm talking to her. Joke's on you, mom. It's hard to survive out here with every career nowadays. Cause it sucks. Cause everyone's broke and rent's too high and gas is crazy expensive. And our planet is melting. So. Are those blueberries? Or are they boba tea bubbles? This isn't even boneless pizza! Chicken feet? Five star reviews? 63 reviews? Yo, that's like the entire population of Adamstown! Including Adam! Is, is that just what everyone does on this island? On like Friday night, you take the family down to Andy's Pizzeria, order an M&M pizza for the kids, and a boned... <sighs> chicken feet pizza for you and the missus. I mean, I get that it's probably the only place to get pizza on the island, but like, where does this guy shop for his ingredients? Does he just go to the shore and just pick up stuff that washes on shore and makes pizza out of it? I feel like this dude was straight up banished to this tiny island for his pizza crimes by the pizza committee, because at least here he can only harm 63 other people with his pizza creations. How does he have five star reviews? Is this like a joke? All right, so I'm trying to figure out if I had to eat one of these pizzas, which one would it be? The blueberry pizza, cheeseburger pizza, M&M multi pizza, and the chicken legs pizza. I think if I had to eat one and I couldn't pick anyone off, I think I'd have to go with the M&M pizza, just because I feel like one of those five flavors has to be okay. So I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments which one of these pizzas you would go for. I'm curious if literally anyone would pick the chicken feet pizza. That seems like a terrible, terrible mistake. See ya!